The Maschinenger 34, or MG 34, is a German recoil-operated air-cooled machine gun that was first tested in 1929 and was introduced in 1934, and first issued to units in 1936. It accepts the 7.92A, 57mm Mauser cartridge. The versatile MG-34 was arguably the most advanced machine gun in the world at the time of its adoption and deployment with the German army. It entered service in great numbers following Hitler's repudiation of the Versailles Treaty in 1936, and was first tested by German troops aiding Franco's nationalists in the Spanish Civil War. The MG-34 combined two then rarely combined characteristics into a substantial advantages over other machine guns mobility, being light enough to be carried by a single soldier, and a high rate of fire of up to 800 to 900 rounds per minute. As such, it can generally be considered to be the world's first general-purpose machine gun. History The MG-34 was based on a 1930 Rhine metal design, the MG-30. The Swiss and Austrian militaries had both licensed and produced the MG-30 from Rhine metal shortly after patent. The MG-30 design was adapted and modified by Heinrich Vollmer of Mauser Industries. Vollmer modified the feed mechanism to accept either drum magazines or belt ammunition. He also increased the rate of fire. The MG-34's double crescent trigger dictated either semi-automatic or fully automatic firing modes. In the field, the weapon could operate in offensive or defensive applications. The offensive model, with a mobile soldier, used a drum magazine that could hold either 50 or 75 rounds of ammunition. In a stationary defensive role, the gun was mounted on a bipod or tripod and fed by an ammunition belt. Belts were carried in boxes of five. Each belt contained 50 rounds. Belt lengths could be linked for sustained fire. During sustained fire, barrels would have to be changed at intervals due to the heat generated by the rapid rate of fire. If the barrels were not changed properly, the weapon would misfire. Changing barrels was a rapid process for the trained operator and involved disengaging a latch and swinging the receiver to the right for the insertion of a new barrel. Accordingly, stationary defensive positions required more than one operator. The MG-34 was the mainstay of German army support weapons from the time of its first issue in 1935 until 1942 when it was supplanted by the next-generation Maschinenger 42 or MG-42. Although the 34 was very reliable and dominant on the battlefield, its dissemination throughout the German forces was hampered due to its precision engineering, which resulted in high production costs and a relatively slower rate of production. For its successor, the MG-42, the Germans instead used mass production techniques similar to those that created the MP-40 submachine gun. However, the Germans nevertheless continued widespread production of MG-34s until the end of the war. Use in Europe The MG-34 was used as the primary infantry machine gun during the 1930s, and remained as the primary tank and aircraft defensive weapon. It was to be replaced in infantry service by the related MG-42, but there were never enough quantities of the new design to go around and MG-34s soldiered on in all roles until the end of World War II. The MG-34 was intended to replace the MG-13 and other older machine guns, but these were still being used in World War II as demand was never met. It was designed primarily by Heinrich Vollmer from the Mauser Worker, based on the recently introduced Reliant Metal Design Salathor 1930 that was starting to enter service in Switzerland. Changes to the operating mechanism improved the rate of fire to between 800 and 900 rpm. The new gun was accepted for service almost immediately and was generally liked by the troops, and it was used to great effect by German soldiers assisting nationalist Spain in the Spanish Civil War. At the time it was introduced, it had a number of advanced features in the general purpose machine gun concept that it aspired to was an influential one. However, the MG-34 was also expensive, both in terms of construction and the raw materials needed of steel, and its manufacture was too time-consuming to be built in the numbers required for the ever-expanding German armed forces. It was the standard machine gun of the Kriegsmarine. Used in East Asia, imported units of MG-34s, 
as well as indigenous copies of the weapon were adopted by Chinese nationalist forces during both World War II and the Chinese Civil War. Some models captured from the Germans by the Soviets or French were supplied to the People's Liberation Army People's Volunteer Army, Korean People's Army, PAVN and the Viet Cong over the Cold War. Today a milligram 34 can be found in the Military Museum of the Chinese People's Revolution which was captured from the Chinese Nationalist Army during the Chinese Civil War. Characteristics The MG-34 fires from an open bolt which improved the airflow through the barrel allowing it to cool faster. The firearm was designed with a rotating bolt operated by short recoil aided by a muzzle booster. When the firearm is ready to fire the bolt is pulled back to the rear and is held back by the sear. With the pull of the trigger the sear disengages sending the bolt forward under pressure from the recoil spring. A cartridge is stripped from the magazine or belt and the round is pushed into the chamber. As the bolt moves forward into battery the bolt rotates engaging the locking lugs and chamber locking the bolt to the barrel. The striker strikes and ignites the primer and the round is fired. The recoil causes the barrel and bolt to move backwards a short distance. The rearward movement of the barrel causes the rotating bolt to rotate back disengaging the locking lugs and unlocking the bolt from the barrel. The barrel returns to its forward position while the bolt recoils to its rear position. The empty casing is ejected and the cycle can begin anew. The MG-34 came with a standard iron sight consisting of a notched V sight mounted to a post in the rear and a single blade at the front. The sight came calibrated for ranges between 200 m to 2000 m in 100 m increments. The MG-34 could accept a variety of different sighting systems, such as an anti-aircraft sight or telescopic sights for use in speciality roles. The MG-34 could use both magazine-fed and belt-fed 7.92mm ammunition. Belts were supplied in a fixed length of 50 rounds, but could be linked up to make longer belts for sustained firing. A 250-round belt was also issued to machine guns installed in fixed emplacements such as bunkers. Ammunition boxes contained 250 rounds and five belts that were linked to make one continuous 100-round belt and one 150-round belt. The assault drums held a 50-round belt, or a 75-round double drum magazine could be used by replacing the top cover with one made specially for that purpose. A gun configured to use the 75-round magazine could not be returned to belt feed mode without changing the top cover again. All magazine feed MG-34s had been withdrawn from infantry used by 1941, with some remaining in use on armored personal carriers. Like most machine guns, the MG-34's barrel is designed to be easily replaced to avoid overheating during sustained fire. During a barrel change, the operator would disengage a latch on the left side of the receiver which held the receiver to the barrel sleeve. The entire receiver section could then pivot off to the right on its latitudinal axis, allowing the operator to pull the barrel out the back of the sleeve. A new barrel would then be put in the back of the sleeve and the receiver rotated back in line with the barrel sleeve and latched. The entire process took just a few seconds when performed by a well-trained operator, causing minimal downtime in battle. A unique feature of the MG-34 was its double crescent trigger, which provided select fire capability without the need for a fire mode selector switch. Pressing the upper segment of the trigger produced semi-automatic fire, while holding the lower segment of the trigger produced fully automatic fire. Though considered innovative at the time, the feature was eliminated due to its complexity on the MG-34's successor, the MG-42. In the light machine gun role, it was used with a bipod and weighed only 12.1 kg. In the medium machine gun role, it could be mounted on one of two tripods, a smaller one weighing 6.75 kg, the larger 23.6 kg. The larger tripod, the MG-34 Lafette, included a number of features, such as a telescopic sight and special sighting equipment for indirect fire. The legs could be extended to allow it to be used in the anti-aircraft role, and when lowered, it could be placed to allow the gun to be fired remotely while it swept an arc in front of the mounting with fire, or aimed through a periscope attached at the tripod. Mounted to the Lafette the effective range of the MG-34 could be extended out to 3,500 meters when fired indirectly. 
Another unique feature of German World War II machine guns was the tire Fenfuhr automat. If selected, this feature walked the fire in wave-like motions up and down the range in a predefined area. For example, being unsure whether the real distance was 2,000 meters or 2,300 meters, the gunner could make the man do an automatic sweep between the elevations for 1,900 to 2,400 meters and back. This sweeping of a given range continued as long as the gun fired. Variants MG-34-41, MG-34-S, the MG-34-41 was requested as the first war experiences in the beginning of World War II proved that a higher fire rate generates more dispersion of the bullets. The MG-34-41 could cope with a fire rate of 1200 rpm. The weight of the MG-34-41 was 14 kg, slightly more than the original MG-34 version. A limited number of MG-34-41 were produced. The MG-34-41 was beaten in trials by the MG-39-41, later designated MG-42. MG-34 Panzerluft, most German tanks used during World War II used the MG-34 Panzerluft for secondary armament. The MG-42 was ill suited for internal coaxial mounting due to the method of barrel change. The main difference of the MG-34 Panzerluft and the regular MG-34 was the heavier almost solid armored barrel shroud, almost completely lacking the ventilation holes of the basic MG-34. When mounted inside a tank, the MG-34 also lacked a bedstock. A kit for quick conversion to ground use was carried inside the tank containing a bedstock and a combined bipod and front sight assembly. MG-81 the MG-34 was also used as the basis of a new aircraft-mounted machine gun, the MG-81 machine gun. For this role, the breech was slightly modified to allow feeds from either side, and in one version, two guns were bolted together on a single trigger to form a weapon known as the MG-81Z. Production of the MG-34 was never enough to satisfy any of its users, and while the MG-81 was a huge improvement over the earlier MG-30-based MG-15 and MG-17 guns, these guns were used until the end of the war. As the Luftwaffe lost the battle for air superiority and declined in priority in the German war effort, MG-15s and MG-81s, which were designed as flexibly mounted aircraft machine guns, were modified and adapted for ground use by infantry, with varying degrees of success. Users, a Nazi Germany, an independent state of Croatia, a Kingdom of Hungary, a Republic of China, a People's Republic of China, a North Korea, a Finland, a Republic of Korea, a North Vietnam, a Israel, a Turkey, a Portugal, a Algeria, a Angola, a Guinea-Bissau, a Saudi Arabia, a Bulgaria. See also, List of World War II Firearms of Germany, MG-30, predecessor, MG-42, successor. MG 3 mg 81 machine gun, SIG 710 3, ZB 530. References External links Guns Rue page with photos and information, 1943 U.S. Intelligence Report, U.S. Army training video about the MG 34 from YouTube, The Pacific War 5, Chinese Infantry Weapons.